Well, happy Easter, East Heights. I am so excited to get to see you today, and I hope that I do get to see you today, maybe even in person as we celebrate um, with our on-site worship and also with our online live-streamed 11 o'clock service today. You know, today we are at the end of our Lent in a Box series, um, and so as you pick up your Lent in a Box, um, you're going to find that it's empty just like the tomb was empty and that was on purpose. Um, there is nothing in your box for Easter Sunday. Hopefully you do have a white candle or something like a white candle in your home that you can go and get for our time together this morning um, because white and also gold are the two colors um, it's, we call it the liturgical colors, um, church colors for the, the church on this day. So white and gold. And um, I've got my white candle here that I will be lighting in, in just a bit. But you will remember that early on Easter morning, um, the women went to the tomb. They were going to anoint the body of Jesus with oil. And what happened when they got there? That's right. Jesus wasn't there and it, it showed them and it shows us that Jesus lives and we can celebrate that this day and we need to celebrate that on this day so badly, don't we? The hope and joy of Easter. And so I invite you to get the little handout that was in your box and turn to the Holy Week and Easter page. You can also find it on our website if you'd like to see it there. But it reminds us that early on Sunday morning, the women went to the tomb and had an amazing surprise. And you can read about that surprise in Mark 16, 1 to 8. So everybody find your candle and um, find your matches. If, if you're safe with matches, get an adult. If you need an adult to help you out and let's light our white candle. No longer purple, right? We are no longer in the season of Lent. We are in the season of Easter now, and so we'll light our white candles. And if you haven't already done this, take everything out of your box so that you can celebrate that the tomb is empty. We if it's, if it's not already passed, would invite you to the 630 sunrise service that our youth will be hosting. It's a long standing tradition at East Heights and it's a wonderful service. Um, it's at the, um, entryway to the Memorial Garden. It will be sitting in our own chairs and, um, parking in the lot and then bringing our chairs to safe distances so we can be a part of that sunrise service. That's where we put the flowers on the cross, and we'll be doing that again. So even if your family is not able to come to worship, make sure you stop by the church so that you can take your picture there at the cross with all of those beautiful, beautiful flowers on it. Um, we also are having three worship services on site. We're having an 830 service. 9.45 service and 11 o'clock service. The 8.30 and 11 o'clock services will be in the sanctuary and you'll need to enter at the coffee house. The 9.45 service will be down in Hedrick Hall and you'll need to enter on the east side at the Hedrick Hall doors. Um, I will let you know that um, as of last week, we were very full uh, or getting very full. So at this point, there may not be spaces left um, as far as seating goes. However, you still can watch the 11 o'clock online service and, and the live stream version of that. Um, we would love for you to send us photos of your family um, or, or you as an individual there in front of our flower cross that's at the garden entryway. So these are our things to contemplate. Think about what difference it makes that God raised Jesus to life. What kind of a difference does that make to the world, to you individually, to your family? Share what has been meaningful to you this Lent and this Holy Week. Has anything in particular been meaningful for you? Think about that and Maybe journal about that or share that information with your friends or even comment here in the video. I would love to hear what's been meaningful for you. 
Let's pray. Oh God, we do celebrate the hope and joy that we feel today. And we pray, oh God, that we can take this certainty of the resurrection with us throughout this new year, whatever this year may bring. Be within us and help us to share your light with the world. In Jesus' name, amen. And hallelujah. Have a very happy Easter. Bye-bye.